Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my September empties. And I don't have a whole lot, so this should not take very long. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I have is my bottle of hair gel that I use. This is the Wee Dad Curl Quencher Moisturizing Styling Gel. And I get it in the liter bottle. With this formulation in particular, you can only get it on the Wee Dad um, website. Now they do carry the um, liter, si liter sizes and some of the other formulations at um, Ulta but not in this moisturizing one. But that's the one that I like because it does not leave my hair crunchy. It does make it a little bit more softer and a little bit more manageable than the other line of Weed Ad. This has been my go-to gel, hair gel, for probably 10 years at least that I've been using this. And um, I like to get them while <clears throat> Weed Ad on their website is running a sale. They'll do 20% off or they'll do 25% off. I try to wait until it's 25% off. And then of course I either go through Mr. Rebates or Rakuten to get cash back. So usually that will bump it up with the cash back to be about like 30% off, which is good because a bottle like this is like $70. Eek. But my curls are very, very picky and they like this. So sticking with it. So I use one of those Then I used up, well, I haven't actually used these up. I emptied them out into my little jar in my bathroom. And it's the Equate Premium Woven Exfoliating Rounds that I got at Walmart. And I do not like these. I don't recommend them. I don't like them at all. Anyway, so, but I bought them and I'll finish them up. But I don't like them. For one thing, they're a little bit, they're a thicker round for one thing. And the exfoliating portion of them is only on one side. Okay, I'm, I want the exfoliating cotton rounds. That's why I'm buying the cotton rounds that say exfoliating on them. Doesn't mean I want only half one side of them to be exfoliating. No, I want both sides to be exfoliating, not just one side. But I don't like them. I will not repurchase those. My makeup remover wipes, as per usual. This is the Apple brand um, that I get at Big Lots. They're two dollars and fifty cents. There are thirty-six wipes in here, and it's the original clean. They're supposed to be comparable to, I think, Pond's. I don't have my glasses. I'm sure, say they're laying over there. Yeah, they're laying over there somewhere on my vanity. But anyway, I always have one of those in my empties. An eyebrow pencil from e.l.f. I've talked about this. I just hauled one of these in my last haul video. And this is the e.l.f. Um, brow pencil in the color blonde. And it's just a little twist up crayon. They're $2. I go through one. Since I started using them, I've gone through one a month. I think this is the second one that I've used. I'm using one right now. So... I like it and for two bucks you can't beat the two dollars right um some razors that i use these are harry's from walmart i don't like these they don't stay sharp long enough i can't get as many shaves out of these as what i would from just a cheap razor that you would get at walmart so i don't like these at all so i think they're trying to be like the dollar shave club so to speak, because you can buy the head, the little handle at um, Walmart, and then these were the little razor things. And then, of course, you know, they have the shower, or not the shower, but the shave creams and stuff that go with it. It just really reminded me of the Dollar Shave Club stuff, which, anyway, and I'm not a fan of the Dollar Shave Club either. I did that, didn't really care for it, don't like it either, so. But anyway, I did use up those. Then from Rad, I have the Rad Rapid Age Spot Serum and Pigment Lightening Serum that I used. Um, I guess it worked. I didn't really see any lightening, 
but the spots that I have didn't get any darker and they didn't get any bigger while I was using that. So maybe it did help, but I have um, used it up. I'm using some vitamin C serums right now, so I don't know if I would repurchase this. It had a funky smell to it too, like really funky, like very chemically smelling. And I just can't pinpoint what that smell is. Some kind of like, like maybe like floor stripper or something. It was just a really weird smell. But anyway, it's from Murad. Now during the holidays, if they come out with a really, really good um, kit maybe that has that in there, that's a really good price, I might get that. Or if I can find it at TJ Maxx then I might incorporate that back into my skincare regime. Then I have a foundation. This was the um, Armani, Giorgio Armani Illuminating Silk Foundation. And this was in the color blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know. 3.75, 3.75. This is, was a really good color match for me. Um, I don't know if you can get this size bottle. I'm pretty sure I got it at Sephora because I bought this one before I got the big size one which would have been in a couple empties ago um, just to try it to see if I liked it and I do I do like it but gosh there's so many more inexpensive foundations out there on the market drugstore and that I don't want to spend the money for it. I think this size bottle right here was 30 35 dollars yeah but anyway finish that and then a foundation that um, I didn't quite finish, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it because I know I've had it way past the amount of time that you should be keeping a foundation and putting it on your face. And this is from Natasha Denona. I ordered this off of Beautylish. And it's her Perfect Finish HD Foundation. Um, Photogene. Photogene is what it's called. Anyway, this is in the color... Ivory, I do believe. And this stuff was so dark. Very dark. I still got some in here. I can show you. I mean, that stuff is like dark. It has a funky smell. But anyway, kind of done with it. Like I said, I've had it for a while. And it has, it has a really weird smell to it. Yeah. So, I know it's gone off. So, I am um, getting rid of that. Finally, I finished up this sleeping mask from Laneige. It's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It was really nice. I really like it. Um, I just hauled in my last video a lip mask from Prim. This is the Lip Berry Sleeping Mask. I don't like it as well as I like this one just for the fact that it has some grittiness in it that I didn't realize it did. So it's got a little grit. And I don't know why they put some grit in that when it's supposed to be like a sleepy mask. And it's not supposed to be like an exfoliating mask. But anyway, I like this better. And I'm thinking what I might do, I've been kind of looking at some of the Christmas gifts. And if there's a, a kit that has this in it, maybe a smaller version, I might get it that way and just get another one of these. But this lasted forever. I think I mentioned in that video, my haul video, that this lasted like five years. It didn't last five years, but it sure did seem like it lasted an eternity. I know I used it for at least two years. It took that long to use it. But because I was strictly just using it at night, which is what you're supposed to do. It has a really good fruity smell to it. I mean, you've, everybody's probably heard about this, but I liked it. I liked the way it... It felt and felt good at night. Then I have a couple of um, niacinamide products that I have used. One of them I liked and one of them I very much disliked. So I'm going to start with the one that I disliked. And of course it's the cheaper one, of course, and it's from The Ordinary. And it is called... <laughs> glasses over there. Hang on, I gotta get my glasses so I can tell you exactly what it is. Okay, what it's called is the From the Ordinary 
niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. And it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Anyway, I wanted it to um, see if it worked just as well as this other product that I have because this other product is more on the pricier side. This, for one, first of all, I like to use the niacinamide product of the morning time. This did not work well underneath makeup at all. Matter of fact, this didn't work well with anything. <laughs> Nothing, because it would just peel up underneath anything that you put on top of it, anything that it went on top of, it didn't matter. It, this little stuff would just peel up like no other. And it would just, it was just horrible. I did not like it at all. So I don't recommend this niacinamide product from The Ordinary, which is too bad because it was pretty inexpensive. I know it was probably less than $10. So that's too bad because this one I do like. And it's from Paula's Choice. It's the Resist 10% Niacinamide Booster. Now this one worked really well with anything you put it with, any other kind of serums, any other kind of treatment products, anything. You could use it in the morning, you could use it at night. It worked well with makeup, underneath makeup. It worked well with other skincare. You didn't have the peeling and you seen, or I would see results with it. So this was a really good one. It's just it's so expensive with Paula's Choice. So if you guys know of a niacinamide product that's basically just strictly a niacinamide product that I could use and that you've used that you've liked, then let me know and down in the comments. Let me know because I am on the lookout for a niacinamide product now, a serum-based product to incorporate into my um, my um, skincare regime. Yeah. Yeah, but it's supposed to minimize pores and smooth skin. I really liked it. I really, really liked it. And I could always tell the difference if I wasn't using my niacinamide. <sighs> I just don't know if I want to bite the bullet and buy another one of these. Oh, so anyway. Okay, we're almost done. We just got a few more products. Here was a little eye cream from Bobbi Brown. Let me get my glasses back on. I wish my ring light wouldn't leave a glare. This is the um, hydrating eye cream by um, Bobbi Brown. I always said if you wanted just an eye cream that was just hydrating, it wasn't going to do, you know, make any claims of, you know, reducing wrinkles or firming or anything like that. You just want something that's just strictly going to add moisture to underneath the eyes. This is a really good one for that. Really good. I have another one, though, that I ordered that off of Amazon. I can't remember what the brand of it is. It's really, really good. It's cheaper than this one, but this is a good one to use. And then I did finish just this morning an eyeshadow. And I'll have to look on here and tell you if it's MAC or if it's Makeup Geek because I always get them all mixed up. And this one, <clears throat> Gesso. Gesso, I'm thinking this is. G-E-S-S-O. -S I don't know. I can't tell. Even with my glasses on. I can't tell if it's Makeup Geek or if it is um, Mac. Oh, wow. They're honking their horn. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and try and figure it out. When I get ready to edit, I'll put something here something right here <laughs> to let you know if this was Makeup Geek or if it was a Mac. Because I don't remember, but it was just a white eyeshadow that I like to use to create a canvas all over the eyelid. And that's what I use. I use that up. And then the very last empty that I have is kind of a sad empty. This is a product that I've been using for many, many years. I discovered it while I was living in Wyoming. And I've been using it ever since, and that's probably been a good 15 years ago. And um, after I started using it, they, Von Bell used to make it, and then they sold out to Cody. And they changed the formula. But it was still good. It wasn't as good as what it was when it was Von Bell, 
Bonnie Bell, but it was still good. Well, when I went the last time to purchase a new bottle at Walgreens, which is where I get it now, I noticed that the packaging and who they said it was made from was different. I was thinking, oh, please, please do not let them have changed the formula again. Well, I'm afraid they have changed it because I went through this bottle in no time. It's the Skin Musk Oil. Usually a bottle like this will last me a whole year. This I don't even think even lasted six months because I could not hardly get any scent throw from it. And a musk, a musk of any kind usually does not take very much at all. Not this little dude. And I only wear it at night. This is my nighttime bedtime perfume. This is what I wear at night. A little bit on my wrist, a little bit back here, a little bit back there. That's what I wear at night. It makes my bed clothes smell good. It makes my bed smell good. My husband likes it. <sighs> why do they have to change stuff? Why, why, why? So I have another bottle that I went, as soon as I realized that this was a mm, different company that was on the box, I went back to Walgreens and bought another one, and I've stuck it in my closet, my bathroom closet, and I'm letting it cure see if that's going to make a difference and see if it will cure and maybe it just needed to age a little bit to get that really good smell because like when i open the bottle right now oh it smells so good it does it smell good it's just the the scent of it on my skin just wasn't lasting like it always had i mean just those few drops and even the next day i could still smell it so i don't know what's going on with that why do they always have to do that? Change things up. Oh, this makes me mad. Makes me mad. But anyway, finished up one of those. Still like it. Used to be able to get it under $10, and now it's like $14, I think. So it's gone up a little bit in price, too. Anyway, so that is it for my September empties. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I will be talking to you soon.